what can I say? A little eclectic, a little bit wild, a little bit icy, a little bit proud, a little bit humble, a little bit wow. People pleasers, they judge you and condemn you for their need to fit in. Self-acceptance is key. Too worried, focused on me. The free one out of the bunch. Gather, chat, gossip, and call it lunch. She thinks she's better than the rest of us, or worse. Was she wearing a bra? Audacious lives are tone deaf. Burn that way our ears. Tapping in a holy fire. Marching to the rhythm of our own drum. People pleasers. All of their advice, illegitimate as it may, reads a tale from rehearsal. They memorized it. This is how fill in the blank. Teachings on how you can fit in. Hmm. Don't you want to be accepted by us? But it's really like us. Thing is, if I'm already accepted, why would I need a crowd? Then I'd stand out, cause I don't gossip and talk real loud. Clothes become just clothes. Hair, after all, is just hair. I started dressing for comfort instead of belly shirts and stripper boots. But if I'm not wearing sweats, does it make me a slut? If I show cleavage, does it make me a whore? The things they sum up and decide with these finite minds and restricted bodies, but specks in the galaxy, even in all their hmm, vitality, preconceived notions. Conjure it up compare themselves to others like tally it up or say did you do that restrict each other's dreams crabs in a barrel fire with butter hold each other down if we're cooked we're all cooked together yeah these people pleasers who will see me what will they say Shame, the name of the baby birthed from judgment and condemnation. Shame, the man in self-righteousness, the first to condemn, pointing fingers and hosting pissing contests. Shame, what will wisdom say? Twelve spies from twelve tribes scouted the land of Canaan, sent by Moses. The spirit of Joshua says, these people are melting in fear because of us, a people with the belief that God will give us, God will give us the land, people pleasers or God pleasures, which the church would call God chasers. Either way, there's a difference. Seated, then we know God in us. Throne of heaven for rags. Boldly we enter, not kneeling and sad. Beating ourselves and each other. Acting like Catholics. Holding up crosses and calling it Christianity. To belittle, to judge, to hold on to offense. Holy, hofty, mighty, greater than the Savior who is. While others are to this and to that and full of questions like, can you believe it? Hmm. A Christ-centered focus makes the rest of us too busy, too still to dwell on the lives happening beside us. Wanting to join, but first surpass the greats who left this earth before us. God in heaven, yes, we say. We can accept him, haughty and high, hey, like me. But God of earth, are we familiar with him? How can we adore if we don't even know him? 
It's such a great tragedy, the epic need to look around, to please. When acceptance came straight through the door, I am the door, written in ancient times. He healed on the Sabbath, rule breaker. He didn't condemn the prostitute, restorer, restore her. He put spit in a man's eye, healer, condemners. Drop their stones, official, omniscient, authority. He gossiped, or no, he was gossiped about until murder was full grown. Forgive her, forgive her heathen tongue. Who do they say that I am? He had nothing to prove. He was not a performer or justifying himself. The man you are with is not your husband, prophet. He wasn't judgmental, although judge. He didn't condemn. He is love. Love comes in the room. A little bit eclectic, a little bit wild, like little rule breaker, a little bit proud, a little bit humble, a little bit God wild. I just got God wild like angels and infinite woe, <laughs> woe, <laughs> woe. On earth as it is in heaven, it is written, saved in twos, each of its kind, people pleasers. Completely unoriginal, forgetful, still trying to fit in, yet so easily forgotten. It's the heaviest burden of all.